Good morning. It's Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Radar showing some light showers in northwest Georgia. We have some rain in metro Atlanta as well and downtown Atlanta and over toward Athens. Not really showing up on radar. It's just too light, but it is there. And this is the kind of day that we've been dreaming of for quite a while in northwest Georgia. Now, parts of southeast Georgia are saying, I don't know what you're talking about. It's hot, humid, the sun is out. But uh, mainly northwest of I-85, we can take a look at the infrared satellite imagery overlay. Just a nice uh, cloud deck, and that's keeping temperatures down at the low 70s, and that nice soaking rain. So a dreary day is something that, again, a lot of us have been looking forward to, and that is happening right now in the northwest part of the state. Pretty decent cloud cover over Macon as well. As we take a look at our temperatures as we get started this morning, again, low 70s in parts of North Georgia, but with the uh, clearing skies, the sunshine already poking through, we have uh, upper 70s in most of South Georgia, stretching up into parts of the mid-state as well. It is not 34 degrees over in Thompson. Uh, that uh, is uh, just west of Augusta. They're uh, checking in at the low 70s as well, but something going on over there showing 34. No, not 34. We have 81 degrees in Savannah and Brunswick. Let's take a look at the weather model as we move through the day today. Those showers continue to move through northwest Georgia. They're not going to stick around all day long. Looks like by about noon, 1 o'clock today, we'll start to see those fade out, move up toward the north, and then we'll see our typical pop-up thunderstorms in parts of south Georgia, moving up into mid-Georgia around 2, 3 o'clock, this afternoon and as we head toward four or five o'clock they become a little bit more numerous but this is going to be a big difference northwest of i-85 got that stable air that we're starting out with this morning so our thunderstorm risk is going to be relatively low but still looking at showers around there but thunderstorms will be numerous southeast of i-85 and especially south of i-20 as we move through the evening hours and you can see those storms just becoming even more numerous late tonight 9 10 o'clock 11 this is midnight still looking a lot of thunderstorm activity stretching across the state and we'll see a lot of that start to lift up toward the north through the overnight hour so augusta plenty of rain overnight tonight a few embedded thunderstorms in there as well and then as we get started tomorrow morning just looking at a few scattered showers and thunderstorms around a lot of cloud cover, so this is going to cover a good part of the state tomorrow. That'll keep our temperatures down just a bit as we get going through the day, but some clearing through the late morning hours, middle of the day tomorrow, mainly in middle and south Georgia, will help warm us up again, get that atmosphere cooking, and we'll see those thunderstorms start to develop around the same time tomorrow, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and they become numerous through tomorrow evening and late tomorrow night. And we're also watching some of these storms Get a little bit more linear in fashion. A couple of lines, one stretching from around Noonan up to about um, Lincolnton off to the east around uh, the Savannah River, and then another line down in parts of South Georgia stretching over Statesboro and then down toward Albany. So with when we get these, li these storms lining up like this, that's where we could see a little bit more strong wind and the possibility of, of hail. But our severe weather risk, we're going to keep it on the low side tomorrow, although we will see a few severe thunderstorm warnings, I do believe, issued tonight as well as tomorrow night. So just be on the lookout for that. We can't forecast exactly where that's going to happen, but just giving you a general idea where these storms will be. And as we head into uh, late tomorrow night, starting to head into uh, Friday morning, we'll see thunderstorms still hanging around, but starting to weaken quite a bit as we head into very early Friday morning. But we're going to hang on to that rain chance through the weekend. Temperatures will not be as hot, but still a lot of humidity out there and still the chance of those showers. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.